Hello, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our seven-day-a-week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 174 of our trek, and yesterday we hiked the trails of unleashing the gratitude in your life. Today, as we hike on our trail, we will search for the seven mile markers to boost your gratitude. If you miss any of the days of our Wisdom Trek episodes, please go to wisdom-trek.com to listen to them, and you can read our daily journal. We are recording our podcast from our studios at home, too, in Charlotte, North Carolina. But by the time this episode is released, we will be back at the big house for a couple of weeks. In addition to a bit smaller family Thanksgiving celebration, we will be headlong in our leaf harvest over the next two weeks. Most of the leaves have fallen to the ground, and it is covered quite thick with leaves. With about three acres of open area to collect from, that is a lot of leaves. On Wednesday of this week, we were able to spend the evening out with my sister Rebecca which is one of the monthly blessings I look forward to as we always enjoy our time reminiscing and sharing God's blessings in our lives. Rebecca is a tremendous piano player, and as I approached her door to let her know that we had arrived, the beautiful playing of the old hymn, Count Your Blessings, was flowing from her fingertips. One of the best ways to boost your gratitude is to count your blessings, name them one by one. It is then that we will see that our life is full. So let's get started on our trek today in our exploration of the seven mile markers to boost your gratitude. It is the season to be grateful. After all, the dictionary defines the word Thanksgiving as the expression of gratitude. Gratitude refers to the feeling of thankfulness and appreciation for people, places, and events. An attitude of gratitude can really change your life. Even as Willie Nelson once said, when I started counting my blessings, my whole life turned around. So the question for you today is, How do you boost your attitude of gratitude? Okay, I will admit it. There are times where we just don't feel very thankful. Sometimes life deals us a bad hand, which may even be completely out of our control. But more importantly than the hand that we were dealt, it is how we play the hand that really counts. So let's hike on our trail today and look for those seven mile markers that will help to boost your gratitude. I'll let you in on a little secret here, though. Most of these take very little time and absolutely no money. So therefore, you have no excuse. I want to challenge you to make it a point to try at least one or more of these today to improve your attitude of gratitude. Mile marker number one, say thank you more frequently. Thank everyone around you, from the people who serve you or those that are simply exist in your life. No need to wait until somebody does something huge for you. Just the mere fact that your spouse or friend is in your life can warrant a thank you. More than just saying thank you, it is also important that you really feel it. President John F. Kennedy put it this way, As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. This is so important. We focus so much on saying thank you in our society, especially with our children, that sometimes we don't make the connection between the words and the genuine heartfelt gratitude that they should convey. Thanksgiving Day is a wonderful reminder for all of us to take some time to thank the people in our lives for all those intangible gifts that they give us every day. Gifts of compassion, friendship, laughter, support, and love. So much to be thankful for. Make sure that when you do thank someone that you also experience a sense of appreciation for them. Mile marker number two, be present. Many of us are well versed in juggling dozens of different thoughts in our heads at once. It is really tough, though, to feel true gratitude when our attention is divided. Take time to really focus on the person that you are with or the event that is happening at that moment. Stop, even just for a moment, to concentrate on how much you appreciate the sunny day, the food that you are eating, or the person that is sitting next to you. Mile marker number three, write letters of thanks. Identify somebody who has impacted your life. Perhaps it could be even an elementary school teacher, an old friend, or a family member. Write that individual a letter explaining why they are so important to you, what you have learned from them, and how they have impacted your life. This is not the time to be reserved. Really share your heart in this letter. Simply the act of conceptualizing and writing this letter can boost your feeling of gratitude. Mile marker number four. Schedule gratitude moments. We all get so busy with our lives that even our best intentions do not always come to fruition. To help incorporate more gratitude into your life, schedule at least a few minutes each day to focus on gratitude. For some people, doing this first thing in the morning is optimal because it starts the day on a positive note and helps them to bring gratitude into the rest of your day. And this is what I personally practice. 
but for others at the end of the day before bed can also be a terrific time to focus on what you appreciated about that day. It is a nice way to review what's happening and to go to bed on a positive note and can even help you get a better night of sleep. Another option is to actually schedule gratitude time as if it were an appointment. Have it pop up on your phone to just reflect for a few seconds on something that you're grateful for. I find that I am happier and more productive as a result of these quick gratitude breaks. Mile marker number five, have a happy meal. Now I'm not referring to the kind of happy meal that comes with french fries and a plastic toy, but rather the kind that offers gifts of gratitude. Sit down with a family member or friends for a happy meal. Take turns talking about each person and what you appreciate about them. Offer specific examples such as, I really appreciate the time that you took to call me after my big presentation, even though you were very busy at your own work. This mind shift helps you and those around you to feel more connected and loved. Mile marker number six, avoid complaining or passing judgment for an entire day. When we judge or criticize others or even ourselves, we cannot truly experience gratitude. Being non-judgmental can be difficult for most people as we often think in judgmental ways without even realizing it. Take control of your thoughts and notice the benefit to you and those around you. Once you become more proficient at it, challenge yourself with a 21-day gratitude challenge. No judgment, gossip, or criticizing for 21 days. That is a very difficult task. And our last one is mile marker number seven. Start a gratitude journal. Now I've mentioned this in previous episodes of Wisdom Trek, but write out the things each day that you appreciate. Don't feel like the things that you write in your journal need to be big or life-changing. Even being grateful for something seemingly simple or small, like the sun shining, counts also. If you are struggling with somebody or something in your life, make sure that at least one of your daily journal entries is related to that person or situation. Most of us are better identifying things that we don't like with ourselves or things that we should do better rather than the good things. This leaves us with low self-esteem and greater stress. Challenge yourself to identify at least one thing that you appreciate about yourself each day. This is not being egotistical. It is being kind to yourself. That kindness will not only benefit you, but also those around you. After all, the happier you are, the more likely people in your life will be happier too. And as a bonus tip, let us never forget the one that we owe all thanks to, as is mentioned several times in the book of Psalms, such as Psalms 118.1. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. And I want to challenge you today to try at least one of these tips and then report it back in the comment section on our journal page for day 174. What was the experience like? Please share with us. Boosting your gratitude takes very little time and usually doesn't cost anything. Have you had your gratitude boost for today? One way is to encourage your friends and family and invite them to join us each day and then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek creating a legacy as we continue our trek and to focus on how wise it is to be thankful through a series of short and inspiring stories. That will finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom at wisdom-trek.com or many of the social media outlets like iTunes or Google Play. Please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person so that they can come along with us each day. If you'd like to be added to our weekly email update for Wisdom Trek, Just text the word WISDOM to 44222 on your phone and you will receive a message asking you for your email address. It's very quick and easy to do. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, Lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.